Burn Park is currently dormant. And if you couldn't tell, it's probably not all that rideable right now. But this spring, it's going to be a very different story because we finally have a grand opening date. April 23rd, 2022. You don't need to sign up, you don't need to register, it's a free public park. That means that after grand opening, you can just show up with your bike and ride it. Best of all, I've got more to show you today. In the last video, we rode Clickbait Trail. This is the longest trail at Burn Park and was paid for entirely by members of this audience on Patreon. Clickbait is rated a black diamond due to its speed and amplitude, and it has some pretty impressive wooden features. This will make it a very popular trail, sure to be shared on social media a lot, hence the name Clickbait. But for a certain subset of riders, we built something extra. When you get near the end of Clickbait, there's this wooden on-off bridge. That's where the split happens. You can continue over the bridge and ride the last few tabletops on Clickbait. Or you can make a right and roll the dice. That's the name of Burn Park's Double Black Diamond Trail, and it was paid for by competitive cyclists. Having been a partner of this channel now for quite some time, Competitive Cyclist was on board with Burn Park almost immediately. Everyone who works there rides bikes. Between Competitive Cyclist, Elevated Trail Design, and myself, we came up with a relatively short run that packs a big punch. Let's start off with the wall rides. Now, we've built a couple of wall rides on this channel, and you may have noticed that I always approach from the right and ride left. Even on my wooden berm, I do this, and it's no coincidence that they were all built this way, because left is my dominant direction. Just like you might have a hand you prefer to write with, riders develop a dominant direction. They'll shred berms better in that direction, spin in that direction, and have a dominant foot they like keeping forward while coasting. While I do let this bias bleed through on my own trails, Burn Park is for everyone. So we built two wall rides, one in each direction. Now with a little practice, you can learn to ride both ways. But if you don't, you can just ride around the wall you aren't comfortable with and send the other one as far as you want. Pretty merciful for a double black diamond, but we're not out to prove anything except that people like fun trails. Each wall ride has plenty of space on it so you can ride as high or low as you please, and a nice forgiving landing so you can come up short or send it deep. Connecting the two wall rides are two very satisfying berms with a nice hump in the middle so you can pump, scrub, or pedal, depending on who you're trying to keep up with. When we were testing the trail, it was possible to start pedaling from the on-off bridge, which of course would be a very bad idea when the trail is actually open. But my point is you don't need much speed to hit the first wall ride. Still, as features come, wall rides require a healthy dose of bike wrangling, so we wanted to make the next feature effortless. Enter the cannon. Some people call it something else. This one's awesome. It literally shoots you out of the woods and viewed from the climbing trail, that's exactly what it looks like. You don't need all that much speed for the cannon and because it's a step down, it gives you back tons of speed for the two tables that come after it. That's five hits in one short section of trail. And indeed, it ends lower on the climbing road than any other trail in the park. If you want to ride the longest run at Burn Park, it's clickbait into Roll the Dice. Let's see what that looks like.
I hope you're as excited as I am for Burn Park's grand opening. I know April seems like centuries from now, but we're actually less than three months away. Between now and then, Elevated Trail Design will be on site finishing up other parts of the project. And I actually have more stuff to show you before opening. If you want to support Burn Park's future upgrades and maintenance, you can follow the link below to join our Patreon. And if you want to support the company that paid for this trail, Competitive Cyclist, Follow that link where you'll find tons of products and knowledgeable gearheads who are happy to help you with your purchase. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time.